I would like to start highlighting some great open source Android applications here on the channel. But before I can do that, I need to make sure everyone knows how to install the popular open source repository called FDroid. So if you're not familiar with what FDroid is, it actually looks and acts like an app store that is dedicated to open source applications. It's used as the default and recommended app store for OS releases like Replicant and Copperhead OS, while also being featured in many open source awareness initiatives. Now you won't find the FDroid application in the Play Store, so instead we need to go to the website f-droid.org, and I'll be linking to this in the video description so that we can download and install this application. So I recommend you read through the website, get a good feel for what is offered here, and when you're ready, go ahead and tap the blue download button right here. You're going to see a download prompt appear. Wait for the application to download, and then let's open up that application and install it. If you're not familiar with how to sideload an APK like I just did, again, be sure to look in the video description as I've done a previous tutorial that shows you how to manually install APKs like this. Once the application has been installed, we're just going to go ahead and open it up. And we're going to let the application update its default repositories. This will take a minute or so. But we're just going to be patient and let the app load everything in. So just as promised, the app looks and feels like a, an app store. So for example, if we wanted to install this application called Baby Dots, we would tap the app icon, we go to an application page where we get a description, some screenshots, and the ability to install that application directly from FDroid. And the first time you install an app through FDroid, you're going to need to allow it to install via that prompt. And then it will just install these APKs just like you would normally do via sideload. So that's how you install the FDroid App Store, as well as how to install applications from it. You can see it is organized by categories. We have a dedicated updates page. And there are a number of settings that will enable you to customize how you prefer the FDroid App Store to function.